Hey, Summit, Merry Christmas. Good morning, Christmas Eve. It is, and y'all know Jake. This is Edward. This is your weekly update. And very honestly, we really don't have a whole lot because it's Christmas. So we're going to read the Christmas story. Y'all know that story that uh, it originally was uh, read by Linus and Charlie Brown, and then somebody put it to Word. So uh, Edward's going to read that for you. Man, it's been a stressful week, Edward. What, what's been stressful, Jeff? Man, just, you know, kids, uh, toys. My kids are growing up, and so they're getting a bunch of furniture this year, and so that's what they wanted. The Wait, desk. What if they watch this today? They, you're giving it away. No, man, they don't watch me. They don't listen when I preach. They don't watch any of my stuff. So man, my I'm kids listen to me. So, yeah, they, furniture they and they vanity love. sets and desks and stuff like that. So... It's assembly day here at the Connor house. Uh, All day today, huh? And it's frustrating. I'm just going to be putting stuff together. It reminds me of on Thursdays before you preach when I'm putting together the sermons for you. I yep. mean, it's just yep. nonstop. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's so true because I fish every Thursday mm. and Friday and Saturday. And um, I write your messages. Yeah, I appreciate that too, dude. That inspiration you were talking about last week. So, yeah. hey, seriously, we'll get we'll get down to business here. We know you're busy. And we hope you have family there. Uh, I do want to read the Christmas story for you. Uh, hey, before you read the Christmas story, got an Ask the Pastor that came in this week for dude, us. You didn't even give me an up. Yeah, got an Ask the Pastor. Chance. This was a good one too. Um, so this comes from JoJo, all right, at Holly Lake Ranch. Okay, and Jojo wants to know, the first Christmas, did the wise man bring gifts for Jesus's birthday and Christmas combined? <laughs> that's a pretty good question. Because, you know, if you have a birthday that's kind of near Christmas, you kind of celebrate it all in once. So, uh, were the wise men, were those gifts, were those for Jesus's birthday? Were they his Christmas gifts? Or were they just like a Christmas birthday combination? So you want me to really answer this? Yeah, it's ask the pastor. It was worship. They gave him gifts because it was an act of worship. It had nothing to do with the birthday. had nothing to do. We know Jesus was not born in December. Uh, the wise men traveled a great distance, so Jesus was older. And so those yeah, gifts so were he, given as yeah. an act of worship of to Christ. So combination. Thank you for the question, JoJo. If anybody's got any Ask the Pastor questions out there, you can send them to jake at summitheightsfellowship.com. And if you get yours read on the air, Edward will give you 2% <laughs> off of your tithe for that week. <laughs> really? Really? You're going to go there? Uh, wow. Hey, in Luke chapter 2, beginning in verse 1, this whole season it is about Jesus, and we want to continue to make it about Jesus uh, it, through this week. Even this Sunday, I'm going to be preaching uh, again of the Christmas story. But tonight, we just thought, hey, we'd love to read the Christmas story for you guys. Just to remind you one more time that really why we celebrate is because Jesus came. And here, here's what Luke says in Luke chapter 2. Now in, the days, uh, now in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that a census be taken of all the inhabited earth. And this was the first census taken while Quirinius was the governor of Syria. And everyone was on his way to register for this census, each town to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the family of David, in order to register along with Mary, who was engaged to him and was with child. While they were there, the days were completed for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. In the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news and great joy. It, 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 great good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, there's been born to you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appear, appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels had gone away from them into the heavens, the shepherds began saying to one another, Let us go straight to Bethlehem then and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. 
So they came in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in a manger. When they had seen this, they made known they, they made known the statement which had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it wondered all the things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds went back, glorifying and praising God, for they had heard and seen just as had been told to them. And guys, that's Christmas, that Jesus was born, and he came for all of us, and he loves you, he has a plan for you. If you're watching this, and maybe you never watched us before, uh, we'd love to have fun, but we do want to say this to you, is that he loves you, he has a plan for you. It's been a crazy year, it's been a crazy season in our country, in the world, but Jesus still is our hope, and he is the reason we celebrate right now. So we love you, we hope you have a wonderful weekend. We are doing church Sunday morning at 9 a.m. at the um, at-risk service for those of you that want to come and wear masks. And then at the 11 o'clock service is our family-style worship. Our children's ministry will be open in the back. And we would love to see you and your family. Uh, if they're in town, we would love to hang out with you and worship with you. We love you and cannot wait to see you Sunday. Next week, we'll be back to our normal updates. It's going to be a new year coming up next, next week, Jake. I'm excited about that. I got a couple of uh, good things planned for these videos for 2021. It's fun. Hey, we love you. Merry Christmas. We can't wait to see you Sunday. We hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow with your family. And remember, worship him. He is worthy of worship. Talk about him. Talk about what God's done in your journey, maybe a little bit at the table with your family. And uh, we'll see you Sunday.